Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Hello, my name is Mimi. So today we are going to be doing a watercolor drawing, and I hope everyone had a great New Year's. So let's get to it. Um, as you can see from the little note in the corner, um, yes, I did kind of set my camera setting in terms of brightness a little bit high. So certain clips are going to be a little more blinding than others, and I'm sorry about that. Um, if it bothers your eyes or something, feel free to just skip ahead, or you can stick around and watch the whole thing. Um, the only real difference that the brightness does is maybe dilute, quote unquote, dilute the colors a little bit, so they're not going to be as like saturated or you know as um, nice. But other than that, I don't think it's too too bad. But sorry again if it does bother you. So as I mentioned before, today we're doing a watercolor drawing, and my last one was actually from a few weeks ago, my, uh, my commission drawing, and that one I technically don't completely count as like a full watercolor drawing, since I did use a little bit of Copic for um, some shadows on top, and I did use my um, Arteza brush markers, which is a form of watercolor, but... Um, for ones that are complete watercolor, I do tend to try and stick with only, you know, watercolor. I did use one Arteza brush marker though for the skin, but um, that's just because it's a little easier for me and it's not really that big of a space, so whatever. Anyways, um, as you can see, this is a little bit different than what I normally do because as you guys know, I tend to just stick with the blank background and like one character, but... I decided, you know what, maybe I'll add a little variation and um, throw in some flowers here and there. I'm trying to experiment more with backgrounds. And yes, I always say that, but this time I actually do want to um, add a little more interesting stuff in the background and maybe challenge myself a little bit more and be more creative. Because I love looking at other artists' art. And I know a lot of people, like, they're so creative, they can add so many things in the background, and it looks amazing. So, I kind of want to try that for myself. And I will admit, it is a little bit hard, but it's kind of the same thing with everything else with our um, practice makes perfect. So, I'm going to start practicing doing, like, little backgrounds and stuff like that. Obviously, I'm not going to do, like, a full, like, room background or something. I totally could at some point, someday, but, um, no. I think I'm gonna stick with like, you know, the smaller things that just add a little bit extra pizzazz to the drawing. So, um, I really enjoyed coloring this or painting this because I finally got to use my Holbeins again and I miss them so much. Um, if you guys do not know, for anyone who is newer around here, um, Holbein Artist watercolors are my favorite watercolors just because they're so creamy and it's very smooth. Um, they are a little bit on the pricier side, but then again, all artists tubed watercolor are going to be on the pricier side. But I do really like Holbein when it comes to um, the main artist brands. Um, I did actually order a new set of watercolors to try out. Um, I think it's called Prima or Prima watercolors. Um, you can find them on Amazon and they come in little sets of 12 and I think they're half pans or they might be full pans so they definitely weren't that expensive and I think it might be a more craft oriented brand but they had some really nice assortments of colors and I wanted to try it out because it, it wasn't too pricey and the colors were cute. I got this pastel set that was mainly with um, pastel colors obviously and you usually don't really find those that often so I definitely wanted to try it out and they had some other really interesting sets too like one for tropical colors and one called decadent pies and I was like watercolor that is based off a of pie sign me up but yeah I'm probably gonna do maybe a review for it later on or maybe a first impressions but I absolutely am going to be using those so stay tuned for that um let's see what else oh yeah so about the actual painting itself so i actually had a plan for this one i normally kind of just wing it see where it goes but for this i had the colors mapped out like i wanted the flowers to be this exact color or like this exact pattern 
along with the leaves and as well as the clothes. The only thing that I might have just experimented a little bit with was the hair. At that time, I didn't really know what to color the hair because I was thinking maybe a light, very muted brown with a tinge of purple. But then I thought, you know, since we're kind of keeping with a more blue, lavender, lilac type of theme here, I should probably stick with something similar to that or just, you know, those colors exactly. So I did just that and I really like how it came out. I did have a kind of pastel color theme going on here. I didn't want anything too, too bright. Everything was going to be, for the most part, pretty muted. And it turned out that way for the most part, as you'll see at the end. And I just thought it was nice. Um, and also, if you see that little drawing in the corner where my hand is, that is going to be an Instagram post. So whenever I'm not posting on YouTube, I'm going to challenge myself and try and post on Instagram. I know I always say that, but I'm going to make it happen. It's going to happen because if I believe it's going to happen, I'm going to make it happen. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have not followed me on Instagram, feel free to check it out. Um, I do post more like work in progresses and whatnot on Snapchat, but nowadays I'm trying to post them on both my Snapchat and my Instagram. And granted, I haven't really posted much on Snapchat anyways, just because uh, with the holidays and it just being so freaking cold outside here up in the north, I haven't really done anything that was really noteworthy to be posted on snaps on my Snap story anyway. But yeah, you're normally going to see my work in progresses and stuff on Snapchat, but I'm making some progression over to Instagram, don't you guys worry. So yeah, um, stay tuned for that. Uh, and also, feel free to hound me if I don't post on Instagram or something. Just be like, Mimi, like you need to post, or like, when's the next time you're going to post, etc, etc. So it's just going to be a nice friendly reminder to me that, you know, I need to get my shiz together and I need to post more because I really want to and I want to start practicing more with drawing, obviously. Um, practice makes perfect and I want to see my progression next year or actually this year, like 2018. I want to compare what my art was like in 2016 because to me, 2016 was actually yesterday, but it wasn't. So I'm looking forward to that. And I also do plan on redoing some of my old art so I can see where my progression is in that sense also. So I'm excited for that because, you know, who doesn't love doing um, or redoing old art? Because you really get to see where you have changed and what you have changed and how much better you are. So yay! And on to other things, like how I mentioned that um, because it's so cold outside, can't really do much. I am not joking. So I'm up here in New York and lately it has been like five degrees out. Um, tomorrow is going to be negative 10 degrees. Oh yay, I'm so excited. And certain parts of uh, New York, like where I am, we haven't really gotten that much snow, but it's just plain old cold. Like I will go outside and if I had like, I don't know, wet hair from a shower or something, my hair would freeze instantly. It's so weird. Um, actually, you can find funny videos or they're not even funny, but interesting videos of like people will um, blow bubbles outside and you can see the bubbles freezing. Like that's insane. It's really cool, but that's still really insane. Like the fact that a bubble can freeze that instantly. I don't know some kind of sorcery i don't know guys i don't know but yeah anyways um i hope everyone had a great break for all y'all who are in high school and for everyone who's in college and you know are still on break i hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all's because i'm gonna be enjoying the rest of mine i'm pretty much going to be sleeping and making up for all the lack of sleep i've had like the whole semester Ugh, bless our souls but we'll be fine we'll be fine See, as everyone keeps saying, new year, new me, or whatever, but again, you gotta remember, time is man-made, so you can make it whatever you want to make of it. So yeah. Anyways, the video is nearing its end, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and listening to me babble, as well as, you know, 
uh, the finished art here. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Toodaloo!